Okay, 9.25 last night. That clearly shows Andy and Jen outside the club. They're having a massive row. Well, Kelly seems very animated. Clearly haven't missed each other. What is it? It's about social services. Carter Martin went missing from Sunnyvale Residential Unit three months ago. Hasn't returned. And Newley Street Secondary School, Debbie Autumn was last seen at the school gates eight months ago. Both girls are 15. Could be totally unconnected. Except the three people missing on our patch are underage girls. You don't think they've all got links to Don, do you? <sighs> Who knows? I've got an address for Jake Clegg. He manages the baiting shop on Halpin Street. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh. Hello, Jen. Are you going somewhere? Uh, she's too young to be in a betting shop, really. She didn't want to get me in any trouble. You wouldn't happen to be Jake Clegg, by any chance, would you? One and the same, yeah, why? We're looking for your cousin, Andy. Oh, like Jen here, is Andy in trouble? Why, what did Jen say? Just that she doesn't know where he is. She thought I might know, but sadly not. So big cousin looks after Junior's girlfriend, as well as giving them a place to stay. You're very generous. That's what family's for. Do you know this girl? No, sorry. No? Her name's Kelly. She had a row with your cousin last night outside the wedge bar at about half past nine. Sometime later, her dead body was found and we're treating her death as suspicious. Oh, I'm really, really sorry. But I'm, I'm not sure how I can help you. Well, just after the row, we think Kelly called your mobile from a public payphone. Why would she be calling you? Um, I think you can explain. Andy's got my old mobile. She must have rung him after the row. Maybe she wanted the last word. Is that where you were going when we came in, John? Uh, the staff only that, mate. And are you looking for someone? Hey! Get up! Get up! Wait! I'm not staying the curse. I just want to talk to you. What about? Leave him alone! We have footage taken from outside the wedge bar which shows you rowing with Kelly Porterfield. Care to explain? It was nothing. If it was nothing, why did you lie and why did you run away, eh? Because I don't want to get the blame for something that I didn't do. OK, well, you tell us what happened then. Kelly was clearly very angry with you. Why is that? Could it have something to do with the fact that you groomed her, used her and then chucked her out? Is that it? She was just jealous. Was she trying to warn you away from No! Her? Did she tell you how he plied her with booze and drugs and showered her with gifts, just like he has with you? That tattoo on your wrist, did you know that Kelly had one the same? What's that about? Is that you trying to brand them? Did you do the same with Kyla Martin and Debbie Orton? Who? Oh, come on. Look, you've got it all wrong. We did see Kelly last night, but she took a fit because me and Jen were together. She was just jealous, nothing else. So you two have a stinking row. A few hours later, she's dead, and you expect me to think that you had nothing to do with that? That's right. I didn't. Jen, no, don't. Don't what? I have to. You have to what? Andy's telling the truth. He had nothing to do with it. I killed Kelly. Kelly's death was my fault. I wanted to put things right after the argument, so I went back to see her later on, by myself. Where did you find her? Near the Green Archer, in the alleyway. I explained I didn't want to fight. We sorted things out. I went and scored some drugs. But you told me earlier that you don't do drugs. I don't, but Kelly did and she wanted some. Kelly was already out of it. Asked me to get it and inject for her. We went down the alleyway. I must have done too much. I, I swear it was an accident. What time was this? Midnight. So when you realised what had happened, what did you do? Did you just run off? No, I, I took the needle out, propped her up against the wall. Then I ran off. Well, if she is telling the truth. I don't think she is, sir. Jen is devoted to Andy. She'll say anything, especially now we have him cornered. Well, if she's guilty, it'll be her prints on the needle. If not, there'll be Andy's. Joe, Eddie sent me to say they're checking Andy Donnelly prints now. Great. Can you get him to check his cousin Jake's prints too? They'll be on here because he gave it to him earlier. We also need to go over the CCTV from the Meteor Club. We know Jen and Andy went there. We need to double check what time they left. OK. Anything else on those missing girls? Carla Martin was still chasing, but this one, Debbie Alton, was done for shoplifting in Glasgow three months ago. Why she run away to Glasgow? They could be completely separate cases, couldn't they? Except we spoke to the school Debbie used to go to. Before she disappeared, she was sent home for having a butterfly tattoo on her wrist. We'll keep chasing up Kyla Martin. Let's see if we can find her. So. 
They can't all have been involved with Andy Donnelly, can they? I mean, he's hardly more than a kid himself. Well, it's still possible that he grooms him, uses him, then moves on to the next one. What's the alternative? That we're missing something. Recognise any of these girls? No. Nope. Well, like Jen, they're all from the Sun Hill area. And like Jen, they're all underage. Don't know them. Okay, let's suppose that you don't know any of them. You and Jen are madly in love. Kelly's just a jealous ex. Right. Wrong. Do you know why? Because before she met you, Kelly was your typical teenage schoolgirl. Within a year, she's a street prostitute and a drug addict. Now, that transformation happened for a reason, and that reason is you. Now, why did she do a runner? What went on when she was with you? Because there was something happened that freaked her out, wasn't there? It just ran its course. Do you want to tell us what really happened after that row with Kelly last night? I told you. I went clubbing. Then what? Went back, tracked Kelly down and got Jen to cover for you? I went out clubbing, then I went home. That's all. I, I don't know what else you're talking about. I don't think Donald is going to cave in easily, sir. Do you put pressure on Jen? Indicate that Andy's come clean? Suggested he wanted to do the same, sir? You know as well as I do, we can't do that, do you see, mate? Uh, you, you may not have to. I've got a clear match of the fingerprints on the needle. Donald is? No. Jen? No, it's neither of them. It's Jake Clegg. They were all over the photo you gave me. You know, his fingerprints aren't enough evidence to nail him on their own. Sure, but fingerprints place him at the scene, sir. Well, no, they don't. It's circumstantial, unless we get a confession. Sir. You need some water, Jen? So, the uh, story you told us earlier was exactly that, wasn't it? The story. No. So then why were Jake's prints on the needle that's injected with a massive dose of heroin rather than yours? See, we think Kelly was killed by Jake, not Andy. So you don't need to cover for Andy anymore. Andy doesn't need you to. We don't think he was at the scene of her murder any more than you were. You weren't responsible for Kelly's death, were you? No. I just wanted to help. OK, the best way you can help Andy now is by telling the truth. Andy and Jake were arguing when I got to the betting shop about Kelly's death and how much trouble they were in. OK, this is really important, Jen. Did Jake say he killed Kelly? Didn't hear that, no. But Jake said that Andy could go down for it. Andy wasn't even there. So then when we accused Andy of being responsible... He said it was me. And what were Andy and Kelly really arguing about outside the wedge bar? She was saying all this mad stuff. I know it was just rubbish. She's only trying to break me and Andy up. What stuff, Jen? <sighs> she said that Andy had brought her to London, got her into drugs and drink, forced her to sleep with other men, lots of men. She said I was next. That they'd use me and move me from place to place. Anything else? She, there was, she was going to put a stop to it, but Andy would never do that to me. Andy loves me. So we have to assume that Donnelly's grooming the girls, breaking them down, making them so dependent on him, they'll do anything. Including having sex with other men, organised by Jake Clegg. Ben's shop's a good location for picking up punters for the girls. The girls are vulnerable, so the self-esteem gets lower and lower and their addiction gets stronger and stronger. If they're done with them, they move them on. Could account for the missing girl, Debbie Orton, ending up in Glasgow. Yeah, and then Kelly threatens to blow the lid and ends up dead. But we still can't prove that. Hi, um, I've double-checked the CCTV from Meteors. I've gone through it minute by minute. Andy and Jen arrived at Meteors at 9.45 and left after 2. Neither of them left in between, but someone else did, though. Jake. He left just after 11. That's plenty of time to find Kelly. I think it's time to put Mr Jake Clegg on the ropes. Can you tell us where you were last night about midnight? My home. Anyone verify that? I live on my own. Surprise. Your fingerprints were on a needle that injected Kelly Porterfield with a lethal dose of heroin. How do you explain that? Well, why do I have to? To avoid going to prison. Well, in that case... Until a few months ago, Kelly rented a flat off me. 
she couldn't keep up with the rent, so we had to kick her out. So I packed up her things for her, including all of her drug stuff. Put it in a bin bag and left it on the doorstep. Maybe my fingerprints got on the needles that way. And you really expect me to believe that? <laughs> well, if you can't prove otherwise, yeah. Can you tell us why you denied knowing Kelly after we showed you a picture of her? Look, I, I am sorry about that. But I knew it was Andy's ex, and I didn't want to say anything until I'd spoken to Andy first. OK, Mr Clegg. What can you tell us about underage girls coerced into sex, repeatedly assaulted, presumably prostituted for money, psychologically damaged, turned into addicts and then trafficked around the country? Does that sound familiar? I've never heard so much rubbish in all my life. Really? How many girls are we talking about, eh? Because huh? we know of at least four. Are there more than that? Fourteen? What, forty around the country? You want to get out more, What do you get out of it, eh? Thrills? Money? Oh. What's all this based on? Hey, who's feeding you this? Kelly Porterfield told a witness what you'd done to her. The second-hand ramblings of a drugged-up street prostitute. Well, forgive me if my knees aren't knocking. Now, I'm not a criminal expert, but if all you've got is flimsy circumstantial evidence, 